I am against House Bill 2354, and I am extremely disappointed in Jack Franks, who, has, who is a co-sponsor of this bill. I thought he was a nice guy, but I think differently now. We're here to oppose HB 2354. Jack Franks and all the other House representatives, this is what you are voting for. Jack Franks, how dare you try to strip me of my rights as a parent? Jack Franks, I know you well. Um, I know you're surrounded by a lot of evil in Springfield, a lot of lobbyists pulling you in the wrong direction. Representative Franks, I am against abortion. This is wrong. And <clears throat> please don't do this to our country. Mr. Franks, Mr. Bobian, it's always astounded me. A 12-year-old girl in high school has a headache. She has to have parental permission to get an aspirin. And yet you would support this bill that denies parental permission for the medical surgical procedure known as abortion. What's more, there are documented cases where abortion has been used to conceal child sexual abuse and child rape. This is wrong. And Jack Franks and Mr. Bobian, you must be thrown out of office if you support this kind of rubbish. You know, most school nurses, they can't even give aspirin without parental consent, and now they're going to be able to perform abortions. First off, we have to consider that our previous legislators in Congress put a ban on partial birth abortion for a reason. It's unconscionable, and it is inhumane. If you can't stand up for the life of the innocent, you cannot stand up for anything. We oppose this bill, and we oppose any politician that supports this bill. May God have more mercy on you than you've had for the unborn. And I just can't believe that you think you can legislate away a doctor's conscience and the conscience of a parent to be told that their child is going to be having an, an abortion. Talk about overreaching into the lives of the ordinary citizens of this country. It's just amazing to me how much hypocrisy that you can legislate to us what your conscience is by taking ours away. We just won't put up with it anymore. So be ready. I've never met my mother or father. They put me up for adoption when I was eight days old. And I thank you for choosing life. Do not support HB 2354. Uh, the thought that one of my daughters could be sexually abused and that their abuser could bring them in for an abortion to cover up the whole thing is appalling. I am a physician assistant and I oppose House Bill 2354. I'm appalled that you think you can tell me I cannot say no to a patient. No, I'm not going to help you murder your baby. Mark Bobium, I am dis disappointed in you as a Republican. Your day in office is very short. Pack your bags, goodbye. Mark Bobian, we're not gonna forget this. We're here to change people's minds. One third of my generation is being killed and I find this unacceptable. Twenty some years later, I met the child that I gave up for adoption and he came back to thank me. Please vote for life. Representatives, rescind your bill. I, I find House Bill 2354 evil. Representative Franks, I know you. My husband and I both know you. We know that you are a good, decent man that you're a family man, but how dare you sponsor a bill that would violate the conscience of so many. It is unbelievable to me that we have come to this, 
that we must take a Saturday to march in front of your office to oppose a bill that would bring about a broader scope to abortion. Not only that, but to ask us to pay for something that violates our conscience so deeply. See these gloves? The gloves are off. We will take back our country and we will take back our state. If you can't get this issue right, how can we trust you with any issue? A person's a person, no matter how small.